हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशंस अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स राधे आई टेल यू अराउंड 85 आउट ऑफ 100 स्टूडेंट्स स्ट्रगल इन स्प्लिटिंग द मिडिल टर्म एंड गेटिंग टू द करेक्ट आंसर ऑफ द क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशंस सो वॉच द एंटायर वीडियो यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न समथिंग रियली रियली यूजफुल एंड यू विल बी एबल टू क्रैक ऑल द क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशंस you will be able to find the roots of the equation within how much maybe around 15 to 20 seconds that would be amazing right to crack the multiple choice questions of quadratic equations so watch the entire video okay and uh, you need to click the subscribe button here and click the bell shaped icon for getting all the notifications do not miss out on the fun friends let's have the first question which i want to take up with all of you the first question is say we have 12 x square minus x minus 20 now we all know that we have to find two numbers a and b which add up to the middle term coefficient that is minus 1 and whose product should be the product of the first and last 12 times minus 20 right now this is the basic rule we follow so to find out which numbers will add up to minus 1 and product will be the product of these two rather than multiplying these two i will split these two into different parts let's see 12 is 2 times 6 right and 20 is 4 times 5 if required i can break this also but as of now i am taking up only these factors so if you watch here carefully Uh, 12 and 20, no. 24 and 10, it doesn't give me one. And uh, I don't think 30 and 8, it doesn't give me one. So no combination is working. So I can see this six. So two. Uh, the six is three and two, right? Three times two is six, and then the four and five. So let me combine, recombine all of them again. So if I see three and five, it is 15, and two times two is four. Four and four, 16. So 16 and 15, it does work. See, it gives me a one when I subtract them. So if I break the middle term, since I want minus one, I'll have the larger one as negative and uh, the bigger one as the smaller one as positive. So the middle term split factors are minus 16 and 15. This is how you need to be smart and you need to do the step called split. Next step is change. Now what change what? change the sign of these two middle term split factors so this becomes positive and this becomes negative and finally s c d divide divide means what look at the coefficient of x square it is 12 so just divide 16 by 12 and divide minus 15 by 12 and watch the magic you have the roots where are the roots 4 4 times and 4 3 times and 5 5 times and 5 four times so here we have the roots of this particular quadratic equation see friends i think you have understood 50% of this right okay let's understand the other 50% and then we will try to build up the speed so another question is say 14x square and let's have a bigger coefficient plus 33x and the constant term is minus 56 right so i need two numbers a and b whose sum is what the middle term 33 and whose product is the product of 14 and minus 56 okay so let's break these 14 is 2 times 7 that's pretty easy and 56 is 7 times 8 right 7 times oh i need it 8 here 8 now how do you break the middle term is any combination working and giving us 33 as the sum let's check Uh, how about seven times seven, which is forty-nine, and two times eight, which is sixteen? Oh wow! The first combination itself is working. Forty-nine and sixteen. What is the difference? It is thirty-three, right? And so I need to decide on the sign. Here we, I need a plus thirty-three. So the larger one plus, and the smaller one negative. So I split it. What is this uh, factor? Plus forty-nine and minus sixteen. The next step here I told you is split, change, divide, and roots. Right? Change, change, change the signs. Divide, divide by fourteen. So divide by fourteen here like this, and you get the roots. 
seven seven times and seven two times, and this is eight upon seven. There we go. The roots of the quadratic equation have been obtained. Right. So let's try and build up the speed now. Let's have another question. We have eighteen x square plus three x minus fifty five. So what are the middle term uh, split factors? A plus B is three, and AB is eighteen into minus fifty five. So if I want to split this, I have to obviously uh, break it into uh, simpler factors. This is three times six, eighteen, and this is five times eleven. And I need a three, so I need to be like very close, right? I can't have sixty-six and fifteen. Uh, if I have six and five, thirty, and eleven and three, thirty-three. Wow, thirty-three and thirty. Yes, the difference is three. So since I need a positive one, the larger will be positive. So larger positive plus thirty-three, and smaller negative minus thirty. This is split change. Change. Oh, I need a thirty here. So let's get rid of this. Yeah, there we go. So this is minus thirty-three and plus thirty, and then divide. Divide by eighteen. So here we have divide by eighteen, and reduce it to lowest form. This is minus eleven by six. Yeah, and this is five by three. Right. So we have the roots of the quadratic equation. So I think you must be feeling more comfortable now. Can we have a big one? Let's see. Let's add 44x square. Look at the term 44x square, and then we have minus 109x, and finally we have plus 56. Okay. Now look at the coefficients. Anybody will get scared, right? So we have a zero here, equal to zero. I think I don't need to tell you. Quadratic equations always have a equal to zero. Okay. So what is a plus b? It is minus 109. Big number there. And ab, it is 44 times 56. Correct. Right, so one zero nine. Let's break the middle term now. When you break the middle term, this is eleven times four, and this is eight times seven. Right? Okay. So one hundred and nine. So I'll have a big number. Eleven is the largest. Eight is the largest. So eighty-eight. And how about seven fours are twenty-eight? How much is this? One hundred and sixteen. Very close indeed. But actually, this is not the correct answer. Right? Let's recombine them in some other manner. How about eleven and seven, seventy-seven, and eight and four, thirty-two, hundred and nine. Oh yes, I get my factor C, hundred and nine. See, this is smartness. Okay, so now since this is negative, I will take both of them as negative because only then the sum will be negative. So split minus seventy-seven and minus thirty-two, change plus seventy-seven and plus thirty-two. Divide by forty-four, and you have the answer. This is seven by four, cancelling the common factor eleven, and here you cancel the common factor what uh, four. So eight upon eleven. So there we go. Seven upon four and eight upon eleven is the answer for this question. See, this is how you crack the quadratic equations, and I'm sure this ten-minute video will surely help you in cracking all the quadratic equations which you face. especially the multiple choice questions do it like this nobody is going to see the steps okay so if you enjoyed the video do share it with your friends that is really important do subscribe the channel and click the bell shaped icon for getting the notifications thanks for watching this and all the best